All right, Chris, what happened? John lost his ticket because he's irresponsible, but he has a great beard. He's about to win our March Madness tournament, so it's okay. All right, so we are currently in Kyoto, Japan. We came here from Tokyo, and the easiest way to get from Tokyo to Kyoto is by taking the bullet train. It's called the Shinkansen, and we took it from Shinagawa Station to Kyoto Station, where we're standing right now. Now we're gonna head back to Tokyo this afternoon. Uh, the easiest way to get a ticket for the Shinkansen, if you know what you're doing, is to just go to the machine and buy one. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably don't know what you're doing. And so they have a booth where you can actually talk to a human being and kind of figure out what you're doing. And so what we did is we got a reserved ticket. So that means that your seats are reserved. You don't have to go on and find one when you get one. You have a specific seat on a specific car. All right, so you can see that we're at 372. We leave at uh, 1502. So you just look up here. 372, 1502 leaves from platform 12. And then we're on car 13. So you just line up where it says car 13. And then once the train comes in, you'll be able to uh, get, in, get to your seat pretty quickly. So as far as luggage, I brought one carry-on and a backpack. There isn't really a limit as to how much luggage you can bring on, but it all has to fit. And so what they have is kind of like on an airplane where you can put stuff overhead, only it doesn't close. So you just kind of have to lift it up and set it there. So if you brought like five bags, it probably won't fit. I would recommend not bringing more than a backpack this size and a carry-on. The ride between Kyoto Station and Shinagawa is roughly two hours, two hours and 10 minutes. It was super smooth. We got up to speeds around 160, 170 miles per hour. There are restrooms on the train. There's a place to throw away uh, any garbage you have. And a couple times there uh, is someone who comes up and down that'll sell beverages and small snack items. But if you leave on an empty stomach, you do have two hours before you're in town. So I would recommend maybe eating at a train station or bringing your own food onto the train. What'd you guys get? A bunch of sandwiches and some craft beer. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Some Bokari sweat. High on water. All right. Most train stations in Japan are cash only, which is kind of a pain. You have to go to 7-Elevens here, have ATMs, and that's pretty much it. Um, so take out your cash when you're near 7-Eleven, use that for the train. As far as the Shinkansen tickets, they're a bit more expensive. This one costs about $150. You can use a credit card for that. You can also buy your ticket a day in advance, which is what we did. We got to Kyoto and we decided, hey, we're already at the train station, let's buy our ticket for tomorrow. So we got right in line, there wasn't really a line, and we bought our ticket for today. Um, and that's probably a better way to do it. That way you're not rushing to the train station to buy your ticket and then get on the train. That being said, we probably would have changed our time if we could. So if you don't know really what you're gonna be doing in the city, maybe wait. We got a ticket for 3 p.m. And once we got into Kyoto and saw all the cool things that are around here, kinda wish we had bought a ticket for a little bit later. lost his ticket because he's irresponsible, but he has a great beard and he's about to win our March Madness tournament, so it's okay. I lost the ticket. So this thing that looks like a phone book is actually the timetables for all of the trains, but it's just for this month. It's like all of these. Look at it. Look at how many. And it's crazy. There's 120,000 Shinkansen uh, trips per year, and the average delay is only 30 seconds. <clears throat> and they've been going for 54 years since 1964 and there has never been an accident. Crazy. We haven't even gone like this year in the United States without a train accident. I don't know if we've gone like a month this year in the United States without a train accident. And they've gone 54 years on a train that's way faster. So she was on the phone and uh, came back and then had me fill out a form. I put my name, address, phone number, and um, she asked for an ID card, I gave her my passport, and she was pleased with that, and I have a little uh, transfer ticket to get out of the station. 
I think a lot of that, a uh, big thing that helped was having that original receipt that showed that we had already paid for it. Otherwise, he probably would have had to pay for it again. And the reserve seats, I think. Yeah, the probably. reserve seats definitely helped too.